is the science teacher we all wish we had. He's a science guy, an entertainer, a spiffy dresser, and he's here today to explain the importance of science as well, research, discovery, how to make for a better planet. Earth Day's on Sunday. He is Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill. Come on, you guys want, always want to do it. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill. We Bill. love that Bill. song. Bill, Bill, Bill. So yeah, we only have, have, have a few minutes, <laughs> Dina. Uh, we, we want to thank the, the folks from Nintendo for bringing you here. Yes. Nintendo yes. Labo, so, my friend. Talk yeah, Nintendo Labo is cool. So if you have the Nintendo Switch, which are these uh, neon red and blue, um, where's the blue oh, one? Here we go. Well, the blue one's in there, and is there a blue one here? Yes, the blue one's right here. These are these uh, kooky uh, Nintendo Laboratory Labo gizmos, so they're cardboard. Oh, wait, I got a fish. You punch out, you gently push out the cardboard pieces and assemble them. You assemble everything, the fishing and rod, the they're piano. they're surprisingly durable. It's weird. Now, uh, what... What I, this is something that, the one thing that, that, that reason you're in, why, why is Bill and I talking about this? We want people because to be excited about science, technology, engineering, and math. We want you to make, play, and discover. So, so we, you know, we keep hearing the term STEM. And STEM, before STEM, it used STEM, to mean STEM cell research, now STEM is something just as important. Science, technology, engineering, and math. So, you know, when I was, when I was young. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I did there, guys. I set this off. This is uh, why that's I right. There, nice things. We need. We get somebody eight years old. <laughs> he or she will have it cranking in no time. Touche. Uh, so uh, the, that's the that's the screen of the Nintendo Switch, and uh, <laughs> he there hit we it. Go. It's very nice. That's okay. science. So it, they're really uh, durable, and uh, they're to me as an engineer, they're very well made. So you, you were an yeah, you were an engineer. You have to remember. I that. still am an engineer. Well, he still he is an engineer. Uh, actually, uh, coincidentally, I'm doing an award uh, ceremony for uh, engineers tomorrow here here in town. Engineers, the, the backbone. Well, everything, everybody, everything that you can see uh, came out of somebody's head. If you're living in a house right now, let's say, or you're riding a bus, or you're watching it on your handheld mobile device, that all came out of somebody's head, and most of those people were engineers. Well, let's talk a little bit about the fact that you're sort of, can I say, reinventing yourself? Because so many people are writing saying, you know, you made science class interesting. It is fun. fun and interesting. Yes. And now here you are debunking the anti-science myth. Yeah, there's so much of it. Right. So thanks to the Internet, all of that stuff spreads like wildfire. Yeah. So the Earth's not flat, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy who launched himself oh, on a rocket a few weeks ago who he's, begs to differ, sir. He saw how, well, he got up to a, a few hundred <laughs> feet U.S., yeah, a few dozen meters and found out that he didn't get high enough yeah. and he injured his back. It's not so freaking simple, is it? Yeah. <laughs> He's lucky to have survived that. Never mind. No. But, but you were talking to kids for so many years. In fact, you were talking to me as an adult because I, I continue to watch your show as an adult. We love you, man. But now you were talking to adults, and the one thing you want to do is, is get girls, especially young ladies, involved so in So half the people on Earth are girls and women. So let's have half the scientists and engineers be women. That's, is that rocket surgery? For crying out loud. So... Uh, 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 this stuff, these Nintendo Labo products are cool, and they come in a big box. You punch them out <clears throat> and assemble them. They have several different kits, and then what we found ourselves doing, uh, sort of by the end of the day, you're making a new thing. Yeah, you, I was you can say. make once you got a piece of cardboard, you can do all sorts of things. What is it about the Nintendo level specifically that builds uh, the the excitement for science? What is is it that they're actually building something that's incorporating technology, so it doesn't seem outdated? Well, no, it's repurposing the game hardware. That to me is what it is. It's not just for games; it's for uh making playing and discovering as we like so t is that oh you took the uh, you know what it's I, because I hit it to be quiet I, the, the fish thing it. is big fun <laughs> so uh <clears throat> let's see if i can get back to this no it's all good so the you go fishing and when the fish is on the line electronically you feel a vibration and then you try to hook the fish and then ultimately you get one fish to grab it this is these are details the <laughs> thing is we've took this thing apart and started making it into a, 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 a remote control for the car, which is big fun. And so it, it's just a cool product. And Nintendo asked me to get involved with it, and I thought it's fun. It's, and you know uh, what? They're being tricky. 
they're being tricky. The, what kids don't realize is that they're teaching them to be engineers, uh, a scientist. Uh, no, getting, and the so kids realize it fine, Kevin. <laughs> but we it's think the they don't. We think are, they don't. Yeah, I know, the grown-ups who are confused. No, I say confused. You guys, uh, you know, I, it's, I started wanting to make stuff when I was a little kid. I mean, I'm a tinkerer. I, I, I want to ask you, too, about, about now, now, we said you were talking to kids. Now you're trying to talk to adults. Who's easier to talk to? Oh, kids. Yeah. Yeah, no, because we're all, and you guys, with good reason, we get stuck in our ways. We, you grow up, you know, people say, there's an expression, don't judge me or don't judge this. Or, you have to judge things all the time. You have to constantly make decisions, make decisions. So then you get this life experience, and then when you're confronted with something that uh, contradicts it, then what do you do? Mm -hmm. You deny it. You set it aside. This is too much for me, man. And we need those minds, those pragmatic thinkers more than ever now, as we are faced with so many issues and concerns and problems. We have Earth Day, fast approaching Earth Day, on Sunday. Earth Day, don't miss it if you can. Right? I was at the very first Earth Day in mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., back, back, back in the day. 1970, I rode my Schwinn bicycle to Earth Day. I grew up in the city of Washington. Oh, and uh, sorry, we very big fan of the Nationals. Sorry, they used to be the Expos. I'm sorry, man. Wasn't should, we, my should we talk about the Washington Wizards, who right now are down three games to none against Ooh. the Toronto Raptors? I'm just going to point Smack that out. That stuff happens. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like I have no control over it, in a way. But, so anyway, uh, we want people to get excited about science, so in the future we'll have more scientists and engineers. Yeah. So we have, when I was in third grade, there were three billion people in the world. Now there's 7.4, almost 7.5. There's going to be 9 and 10 billion people, and they're all going to want to eat something and live the way we live in the developed world. They're all going to want Nintendo Switches and Nintendo Labos. And so we're going to need uh, innovations to provide for everybody. Clean water, reliable, renewably produced electricity, and access to the Internet. For everyone on Earth, let's go, people. Amen we can do to this. That. All right. The Earth, which is let's round, change the world. as you heard today. <laughs> now you can hang for Breaking a couple news. minutes. Yeah, All hang. Right. I'd right. love to. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll come back a, a little bit uh, with yeah. Bill. So let's go check in our top stories right now. And uh, here's Mel.